about businesses in general because we have a okay. lot of small businesses on this program. And okay. what they constantly say, day after day, is the reason that they're not hiring more employees is because they can't afford to offer health insurance. And the reason that they don't want to take the number of employees that they have above 50 is because they will be forced to offer insurance. And the reason that they are turning full-time jobs into part-time jobs is so that they can avoid paying for the insurance. So you want to separate business and individuals? Fine, let's do it. Businesses are not hiring workers because the legislation is too expensive. We can disagree, uh, disagree on it, but it's a fact. And that's what businesses say when they come on this program. So the question becomes, how do you make this legislation less expensive? Maria, look, once again, please don't use the word fact because you're not saying facts. You're saying anecdotes. I, I'll the tell you what is a fact, on, no, the fact, I'll tell you what is a fact. Is, a fact is, is that economic growth is 2% or lower. And the fact is, is one of the reasons that economic growth is as low as it is, is because businesses are not hiring workers and not doing activity because of the cost of Obamacare. That's a fact. Do you it's dispute, not a fact, Maria. You're, do you you're dispute it's not economic a fact. growth? Do you dispute economic growth? Economic Ten years growth after the financial the crisis? Rapidest. Economic growth is the rapidest it's been in eight years, okay? Economic growth, we're coming out of a recession, and Obamacare is irrelevant to economic growth. Please, there is no evidence at all. You are making a totally non-facts-based argument. There is no evidence at all that Obamacare has anything to do with economic growth. Jonathan, it's very, is not hard, it's very hard to uh, believe you after what you said when this law first came out, that Americans are stupid, and that you needed a stupid public to get this law through. In fact, let's roll that by. Listen to this, Jonathan. Here's what you said a few years ago. Lack of transparency is a huge political advantage. And basically, you know, call it the stupidity of the American voter or whatever. But basically, that was really, really critical to getting the thing to pass. So we're stupid. And that's why you were able to pass this, this legislation through. Maria, I deeply regret those comments, which are you taking out of comment? Out of context. What's out of okay? context? We just heard you say it. What is what out I, of context about what you said? What is out of context is that I was at an academic conference right. conjecturing about something I shouldn't have been conjecturing about. I made a mistake. I shouldn't have said that. Okay. That's absolutely true. That doesn't excuse your denying true facts. You're making up facts, Maria. Okay, so what okay, did I make up? What did that. I make up? You made up the fact that Obamacare has caused job loss. There is no evidence. You yes, made up the fact is. that Obamacare. There's 100% no, there evidence. There is none. There is a, Maria, All I need Maria, are 10 you CEOs are to come facts. on this show and tell me that's the reason. And then it becomes okay, fact. Who cares if some CEO comes on the who show and tells cares? you that's the reason? Look at the data, Maria. You use the word data. Look at the data. There is not a single data I don't point. need data when I have the CEO telling me I'm not adding workers because of the cost of Obamacare. That is my data. I just spoke to the boss and he gave me the reason. Well, Maria, that is absolutely wrong. That's not how you consider data. Data is considered by actually looking at the facts on the ground. And the facts the are... The facts on the ground are the managers of businesses, the people who are actually making hiring decisions, and why they are not putting new jobs in their company because it's too expensive to do so, because of Obamacare. That's data, Jonathan. For you to, for you to say that what a CEO says is the reason that he's not hiring people is not important is ridiculous. Maria, you have people on the show who are expressing a view of one company with potentially, and we don't know what they're going to say. I made, a, I, I made a mistaken comment. I regret. Those CEOs are coming on. They're making a comment. Who knows if they're making it for political reasons, why they're making it. The bottom line, they're Maria, making is it because we have data. They can't data. afford the legislation. Maria, That's why they're making data. it. We have data collected okay. unambiguously. What is your by data? Agencies. What is your data tell you about making this law less expensive for businesses and individuals? The law, my data tells you can look yeah. at. It, if your listeners want to cut through the stuff you're saying, look at the data. Right. Go to the Kaiser Family Foundation. Does an unambiguous survey every year of all employers, and over the last five years since Obamacare has passed, the premium growth of employer insurance has been the slowest in measured history. That is a fact. Yeah. Do not tell I me what some CEO I don't need to go says. to the Kaiser Foundation when I know what my friend is paying for health care, $1,000 and it was 500 or what I know a business is paying, it was here and now it's here. All I need to know is what people are saying. I can't spend this money on activity. I can't spend this money uh, hiring people because I'm spending this money on health care. 
Do and you me, think again, if, that if, in the if, first two years of President Obama's presidency, when he had both houses of Congress, he should have focused instead of on health care, on economic growth? Maybe we would be in a different place than we are today at 2% economic growth? President Obama focused on economic growth, passed the largest stimulus in our nation's history. So don't say he didn't focus on economic growth. Wait Over a minute, the wait opposition. Did you just say the Affordable Care Act was the largest stimulus no, in history? No, I said the stimulus package was the largest okay. stimulus in history. Right. Over the opposition of Republican Congress. So don't, don't start blaming President Obama. When, first of all, once again, you're moving the debate to economic growth. That's not what this is about. This is about a health care law. And once again, you can yell and bring on CEOs who want to give examples. Your listeners who really want to know the truth. Yeah, I urge them to actually look at the facts. We want to have people who are actually getting affected by the law, not someone in their ivory tower telling us what this should be, but in fact, what people are seeing on the ground because they're the ones that are being affected by the law. That's why that's fact, talking to CEOs and talking to the managers of businesses, Jonathan. Not somebody who's just looking at a bunch of numbers on the Kaiser website. Good to see you, sir. Thank you. Jonathan Gruber joining us.